Hey Teddy, we're going to show our viewers how you work inside. How do you feel about that? That sounds like fun. I'm always excited to show people how I work. Let's get started. This is the original Teddy Ruxpin, marketed by Worlds of Wonder in 1985. I chose it because its clever design made it easy to utilize for this project. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of how Teddy was brought to life using multiple AI models, including OpenAI's GPT-3. Let's take a closer look at how Teddy works. When I turn him around, you'll see a wire dangling from his back. Attached to it is a wireless Bluetooth adapter. This is what my computer uses to send audio for Teddy to say. It also has a built-in microphone, which is how Teddy listens for requests. Removing Teddy's vest reveals an audio cassette player, and inside of it I've placed a standard audio adapter. The kind used to play music from a phone through an older car's audio system. This enables the audio received from the computer to play through Teddy. The cassette adapter did require a minor modification. I had to drill a couple of holes on top to prevent Teddy from detecting it as an ordinary cassette. Official Teddy Ruxpin tapes include these extra holes to prevent an internal switch from being pressed. When pressed, Teddy acts like a standard cassette player and won't move its mouth with the audio. Let's take a look at where Teddy fits into the overall picture. Through its Bluetooth adapter, it communicates to a Python program I wrote that drives things behind the scenes. One of the reasons I chose Python is for portability, which allows my project to run on any computer powered by macOS, Linux, or Windows. Python also has a large and vibrant community supporting it, which made obtaining all of the required packages easy. Two key packages are OpenAI's Whisper, a speech-to-text AI model, and Koki, a text-to-speech AI model. All speech processing occurs on a local computer, so a higher-end system is required for the best result. Using slower systems can result in there being awkwardly long pauses before Teddy responds, which breaks the illusion of interactivity. While the code does run on small single-board computers like the Raspberry Pi 4, it did not have the power to provide a satisfactory experience. The third key component is OpenAI's GPT-3, which resides in the cloud. This AI model grants Teddy its personality and authors the dialogue that Teddy says in response to requests. Now that I've covered all of the major components, let's walk through how they interoperate together step by step. While the Python program is active, it listens for speech through Teddy's Bluetooth microphone, specifically for phrases beginning with, Hey Teddy! The speech is converted by Whisper into text. If the text contains the magic Hey Teddy phrase, the text is sent over the internet to OpenAI's GPT-3 to come up with a response. Once the response is received, the text is sent to Koki to turn it into audible speech, using a customized voice based on an actual person's. And finally, the audio is streamed back over Bluetooth for Teddy to speak to its adoring fans. Those are the basics of how Teddy works. Future videos will delve into Whisper, GPT-3, and Koki in greater detail and include code so that you can begin work on bringing your own animatronic buddy to life. Hey Teddy, say thank you to all of our viewers for watching. Hey, thank you all for joining us on this incredible journey. It's been an honor and a pleasure to have you along for the ride. We appreciate all of your support and we look forward to seeing what new adventures await us in the future.